Hi there and welcome to another higher math tutorial video. Today we'll be looking at everyone's favorite logarithms. So here we have a question. Uh, solve log to the base b of x take away log to the base b of 7 take away log to the base b of 3 for x being greater than 0. And it's a multiple choice question as you can see. So how would we go ahead and approach this? Well, to begin with, let's write down the question itself. So it's log to the base b of x take away log to the base b of 7 equals log to the base b of 3. Now, we have some logarithm rules that we can apply here, and this is a, the rule that links the writing of a logarithm to some particular base with a subtraction in it as this, being able to write it as a division. So effectively, you've got log to the base b, and you only write it once, and you can only do this rule if both bases are the same. And because they're both base, um, base b, that's absolutely fine here. And all you effectively do is do x over 7. Had this been a plus, it would then be 7 times x or x times 7, depending on how you wish to write it. Okay, and then that just equals log to the base b of 3, like so. And what we can do is, because we have a log to the base b on either side, we can simply just get rid of it, leaving x over 7 equal 3. And now it's just a simple equation that we can solve. So that's just x equals 3 times 7, which is 21. And that would give our answer a over here. So that's just going to be the answer a. Let's have a look at another one very quickly. <clears throat> here we have evaluate log to the base 5 of 2 plus log to base 5 of 50 take away log to the base 5 of 4. Now this is a very similar question to the one previously. We'll be using our log rules here so let me just write down the question so I can remove this out the way. Okay so we've got log to base 5 of 2 plus log to base 5 of 50 <coughs> Take away log to base 5 of 4. So let me just move this out the road. And we'll go ahead and solve this. Now, um, just like previously, where we had uh, subtract, we turned that into a division. We'll be doing the same with this. But because we have a plus here, we'll deal with these two first. So that will simply be log to base 5 of 2 times 50. Take away and then log to the base 5 of Four, and then obviously this is log to base 5 of 100, take away log to base 5 of 4, and now we can use our, our rule there to simplify that, so that's just simply log to base 5 of 100 over 4, which is log to base 5 of 25, and log to base 5 of 25, you can pop that into your calculator, but it's effectively 5 to the power of what number will give me 25, and that's simply 2, like so. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Here we have, uh, given x equals log to base 5 of 3 plus log to base 5 of 4, find algebraically the value of x. So let me again just copy that question down. So what do we have here? So x, we've been told, is log to base 5 of 3 plus log to the base 5 of 4, and we've been asked to figure out the value of x. So Let's do this. Well, once again, we have the same base in each case, and it's an addition. So what we'll do is do log to base 5 of 3 multiplied by 4. So log to base 5 of 3 multiplied by 4, which is obviously log to base 5 of 12. Now, this question is asking us 5 to the power of what number will give me 12. Now, off the top of my head, I genuinely don't have a clue what that would be. So, plugging that into the calculator, I get 1.54. Now, you could leave your answer in this form. Um, this was strangely a non-calculator paper question. Um, it was, if I check it back in 1998, it was paper 1, question 19 in the higher maths exam. Um, in all honesty, God knows how that's a paper one question, but hey-ho, that's what it is. Okay, thanks very much. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment below. I'd appreciate any feedback, any uh, likes would be
greatly welcome and of course subscribe. Thanks a lot, till next time.